Hi, I'm Melissa Purley. My new children's book, The Violin Family, which is beautifully illustrated by Fiona McLean, was recently published. In writing the book, my focus was creating a story that explored two of my very favorite subjects, music and family. I wanted to both introduce and educate readers about the violin family of stringed instruments using an adventure starring THE violin family of instruments. And for those of you who might not know, the violin family of instruments is the double bass, the cello, the viola, and the violin. And now I'd like to read you an excerpt from my story here in our cello shop. One evening, the family was performing at the Barnard's Farmer's Market. It was one of their very favorite places to play. The air was filled with the smells of delicious foods cooking. Spicy samosas, roasted corn on the cob, and the sweet fragrance of maple popcorn. People were sitting in their chairs, smiling and laughing together. A few stars had popped up in the evening sky, just waiting for the sun to leave the stage and for the moon to arrive. The wind began to blow. The family was startled to see the tent flaps flapping and people grabbing at their hats as they took flight from their heads. Suddenly, there was a deep rumble of thunder, like the sound of Basil's bass. Because the show must go on, the family bravely kept playing. A boom from Basil's bass, and then a rumble of thunder. As she played, Violet watched her music begin to move on her music stand. What to do when the notes are blowing to and fro? Violet quickly leaned forward to steady her stand and Violet fell. Music stands crashed and the wind howled as people picked up their chairs and rushed to their cars. Nobody noticed Violet on the ground except Val who shouted, Violet has fallen! and everything stopped. It was very quiet at the Luthier's workshop. The tick-tock of the clock on the wall was the only sound. A Luthier is a doctor for stringed instruments, and that is exactly where the family hurried to with Violet. Paul was their favorite Luthier. He knew just what to do. The family gathered silently around the workbench as Paul gently turned Violet over. Now you'll notice a few things look pretty familiar from the story. We have the card catalog, we have the instruments, and lucky for us today, we have Luther Paul. This past fall and spring, I had a delightful time reading my book to lots of children in the bookstores and libraries throughout the region. And now with COVID-19, I'll be available for virtual presentations and interviews. Young readers will be able to meet the violin family and see the instruments here in Luther Paul's workshop. If you'd like to hear more of my story, The Violin Family, check with your local bookstore. And for more information on spending an afternoon with us, please contact Rootstock Publishing. Thank you for listening.